And now to security matters. The Explosive Ordnance Disposal Department of the Nigeria Police says the days ahead calls for cooperation with commands. And this is one of the many issues that was discussed as they held their 2024 second quarterly conference in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano was there. The Commission of Police second quarterly conference with senior officers and base commanders is not only an opportunity to take stock, but also deliberate on important national issues. One of such is the impending nationwide planned protest. We, as part of the Nigeria Police Force, therefore, must be vigilant and be prepared to emplace effective strategies to mitigate threats of IEDs or any unlawful use of CBRM materials by miscreants who may seek to hijack the protest. If it remains peaceful, apparently there will be no cause for alarm. But we cannot make assumptions, and we need to be ready and combat ready. I enjoy you, therefore, to give your maximum support to your respective state command commissioners of police, as well as collaborate with other security agencies. For him, it is so relieving for the Inspector General of Police to have addressed the challenge of manpower, which they had to contend with. We recommended a total of 363 officers for mobilization. This influx of new personnel comprising 40 SPOs and 343 inspectors and rack and files will significantly alleviate the manpower shortage across our bases and units. We are indeed most grateful to the Inspector General of Police for the approval of this recently concluded and very successful exercise. The EOD highlights some successes achieved in 2024. All were rendered safe. On 30 April 2024, Base 19 Ibadan recovered 87.5 kilogram, 87.5 kilogram of 25 millimeters high explosives and 2,250 meters of detonating cord at the Akinyele Motor Park Ibado, on your state. Had this not been recovered, you and I, as experts, can very well imagine the harm they would have done had they fallen into the wrong hands. He encouraged his officers to keep serving the nation as they will be taking delivery of modern operational EOD vehicles. A total of 58 base commanders were present at the conference. Ivy Cano, TVC News, Lagos.